In this tutorial, I want to show you a couple quick tips and tricks to master the story stick and get everything that you can out of this tool because it is a very fundamental tool to draw cabinets within CabWriter. So if we uh, grab our story stick up here, so this is the story stick tool, we get the little pencil with the, with the triangle on it, and we have to have some sort of a line in which to snap to. With this. So we usually draw, take our tape measure tool, the standard SketchUp tape measure tool, and go along the wall and we pull out. And I've already got one at 24 inches, which is the face of my cabinets. And when we grab our story stick tool, then we snap to this line. So we always have to pick a first spot here. And we have to stay in line. Uh, with the second point. So I can, I can click anywhere here. It doesn't matter because once we choose the type of style that we're going to use, then it'll, whatever distance that is set to, um, or width that that style is set to, it'll automatically snap the story stick back to that width. So if we say this is a left end panel, we get an inch and a half wide um, style at the end there. So now, as long as I go along the same line, um, I can draw another style. So that's why it's handy to have a line here. So if I'm off the line, if I'm over here somewhere, it's going to say the point is not in line with the starting style. So there's a couple features that I can use with the story stick. I can just come out here and randomly grab anywhere. But if I hit the control key once, I get a C, which is this style centering tool. I'll show you that in a second. I hit it again, I get a D. The D allows me to use distance. So if I had, if I wanted the inside of my cabinet to be something, I would click on this inside point of this style here and go anywhere along this line. And then I can type in a number like 40 inches. And that gives me one leg of my style. I could come inward here, but that wouldn't. Um, give me an inside dimension of 40 inches. So I want to go away from my first point so that this distance here stays at 40 inches. And I'm going to click and I can pick uh, a right end panel, for example. And now let's say uh, everything else is going to be connector styles in here. But let's say I wanted to exactly center one in there. So I can hit the command control key again and I get a C. And what that's telling me is I'm going to center whatever is between whatever two points I choose. So I'm going to choose this point and then this point. And so I've got my style in the center here. So those are a couple quick tips and tricks that you can use uh, when you're using your story stick to help um, draw a little bit more precisely. Thank you.